so it's February 14th. <laughs> and they take Valentine out to have him killed at the end of the Lupercalia feast of raping, blood, and cake. And, um, you know, they, they behead him and they feed his entrails to dogs and they set his body on fire. It's wrong. And so, but before he leaves jail, he leaves a little note for his little friend. And he signs it, love your Valentine. I know. I read that. I'm like, oh my God. And who the fuck knows? Because I'm reading this in history books like a gajillion years ago. Not a gajillion years, like 2,000 years ago. Anyway, sorry. Um, but it's like so long ago. So people are like, and then, and you know, I could see like Jim and Jerry Hallmark going, and that's when he said, love your Valentine. <laughs> High-fiving over all the hopes and dreams of Americans everywhere. Anyways, but I read that and I was like, oh my god, that's so beautiful, that's so him, that's just so him. People have so done that. I don't fucking know, but it sounds nice. But for me, that story of where Valentine's Day actually comes from isn't about anything material, buying nighties, chocolate, dinner, guilt trips, oh my god, the list goes on and on, diamonds, cars, like people think they need, to, they need to spend money to express their love to one another, I think you just need to fucking stand up for what you believe in, even if it makes you look weird or unpopular, just absolutely stand up for love, be willing to Screening in your order. It's why we do everything. <laughs> and so this next song I wrote actually is is another love song where nobody dies. I must be getting old. But um, this is this to me is for uh, this is for Saint Valentine. This is for the man. <clears throat> Stand up for me. And we'll stand together I'm the sky above you And I love you, everyone Stand up for me For your great-grandmother For your father, brother And each other and everyone
Uh...